I have the Xiaomi Redmi 7 right here and today I'm going to show you how to unbrick this device and return you back to the stock MIUI software. Now I do want to say up front that in order for you to complete this specific tutorial you are going to have to have the bootloader unlocked ahead of time. So if you are currently in a boot loop and you're trying to unbrick the device, it's not going to work. Assuming you have not previously unlocked the bootloader. Now if you are in a boot loop and you have already unlocked the bootloader, then you can still follow this tutorial and it will walk you through the process from beginning to end to get your device back up and running. So again, you have to have the bootloader of the Redmi 7 unlocked ahead of time. If you haven't done that, you need to do that in order to follow this tutorial. With that done, we're going to need to download the fast boot ROM for your version of the Xiaomi Redmi 7. As of right now, there's only a Chinese variant. So in the full tutorial on my website, which you're going to find linked in the video description for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. I'm going to have a download link for the Chinese fast boot ROM, again, which is the only version that's available right now. As Xiaomi expands and releases this device in other countries, I will put up the Indian fast boot ROM, I'll put up the EEA fast boot ROM, I'll put up the global fast boot ROM, and I'll have them linked in the full tutorial on my website so that no matter which version of the Xiaomi Redmi 7 you have you can easily unbrick and return your device back to stock MIUI. Now I'm combining two of these tutorials into one. First one is the unbrick tutorial, the second is to return everything and restore to stock MIUI because this is not only going to undo any changes you've made to the MIUI software, it's also going to restore your recovery. So if you have TWRP installed, going through with this process is going to replace that with the Mi recovery. Same thing, as you can see here, I have Majisk installed. Now, having Majisk and TWRP installed is preventing me from accepting over-the-air updates. So, this whole process is going to restore my device back to complete stock MIUI so that you can accept over-the-air updates again if you so choose. This is also just a nice tutorial for those who, are, who tried Root, who tried a custom recovery, and are just not into it and just want to go back to their stock software. So once you have downloaded that fast boot ROM that I mentioned onto your computer, you're going to need to copy the ADB and fast boot tools into that same folder. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. For right now though, we need to boot the Redmi 7 into fast boot mode. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, then again, check the full tutorial. I link and show you how to do all of these things in step-by-step -step process. So over here, we're just going to be holding down the volume down button while the Redmi 7 reboots. And that's going to get us into fast boot mode. And once we have the smartphone in fast boot mode, then we can connect the Redmi 7 to the PC with the USB cable so that we can continue with this process. So what we have here is the firmware, the fast boot ROM that we have extracted. Once you extract that file, you're going to get this folder, and then inside that folder, you're going to have a number of scripts with a images folder. We want to be in this scripts folder, 
And again, like I said, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed because we are going to need to copy or move all of those ADB and Fastboot to, uh, files into the same folder as this as these scripts are in. With that done, we are literally just going to double click on the flash all dot bat file. It's a flash underscore all dot bat. And if you do not have extensions file extensions visible, then you're going to need to go into folder options to change that. So just go ahead and double click on the flash all.bat file. And you're going to see a bunch of text scrolling in this command prompt. What we are doing is we are taking these images from this image folder and we are flashing aka a installing them over what we currently have installed on our Xiaomi Redmi 7. That is the restoring stock MIUI portion of this guide and it also is the unbrick portion because likely you have come across a soft brick issue because of changes that you have made to one of these partitions or one of these image files. So by restoring it to the stock version right here, we will then be able to boot back up into MIUI and start fresh with a blank install of Xiaomi's Android software. As you can see, we're mainly just waiting, we're being patient while the script does all the work. This is possible because we have previously unlocked the bootloader. Now I will be looking into a way to unbrick um, the Xiaomi Redmi 7 for those of you who have a locked bootloader. It is a lot more difficult it used to be easy because we could just boot up into EDL mode, but now booting into EDL mode is a lot more difficult than it used to be. So once the f script has finished, you're going to get a press any key. key key to continue message on your in the command prompt pressing any key is going to just close the command prompt and while that happens your Xiaomi Redmi 7 is going to reboot once that flash all script is finished and the Xiaomi Redmi 7 reboots it will reboot on its own you can then unplug the USB cable from it and then wait for this first boot cycle. Now this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. That is because we have essentially done a factory reset by restoring the stock MIUI software. And that's going to result in Android as well as MIUI having to set everything back up. It's going to have to optimize our, our stock and default applications. It has to get the MIUI activation and Android activation screens ready. So this first boot cycle is going to take much, much longer than your subsequent boot cycles, your normal boot cycles. But just be patient. and it will eventually boot us into the MIUI activation screen.
And I'm just going to go ahead and set up MIUI. And there we have it. I just logged into my MIUI account and activated Android. It's going to take you to the default home screen, whether you are on the Chinese, the global, the EEA, or whichever version you are on. As you can see, I am on the Chinese version. And as soon as the global version gets released, I will switch to the global version. I'll show you how to switch to the global version. And I'll have the global fastboot ROM linked in the full tutorial for this guide on my website. And there you have it. That is how to unbrick the Xiaomi Redmi 7 and return to stock MIUI.